ahead of World Water Day, Greenpeace is launching a global report called Dirty Laundry Reloaded. It is the third installment of a three-part um, report called Dirty Laundry. And um, this report contains um, research that indicates that um, toxic chemicals in, in the clothing apparel that we purchase from stores can actually um, contaminate our rivers by way of washing. When we wash these clothes, the, the contaminants enter our, our river system and uh, pollute our rivers. Um, the, the, what, what we see here um, behind me is um, this, the traditional way of washing clothes in the Philippines. And um, we know that it is still being done in a lot of places in our country. And even if we use, um, if urban dwellers now use um, washing machines, we know that um, some of these chemicals eventually end up in our waterways. Um, the problem here in the Philippines is nonyl phenols and a lot of hazardous chemicals are not yet regulated. We have very few chemicals um, that are toxic that are in the list of um, regulated chemicals. So what we want, for, what Greenpeace wants, is to expand the coverage of um, the list of hazardous chemicals for elimination so that we are keeping our environment and our people safe from all these chemicals. We are calling on um, industry and government to immediately eliminate all hazardous chemicals they use in their um, products and their entire supply chain, as well as set up a pollution disclosure system, um, such as a pollutant release and transfer register, so that people know what is happening in their community. If there's a factory that's discharging chemicals, they know and they are able to prepare and protect themselves from um, potential hazards.